Hello everyone, welcome back to another chat GPT tutorial. And this one, this one's for realtors or people that are thinking about getting the real estate world. I'm gonna show you how to do all sorts of tasks inside chat GPT to save you hundreds, maybe even thousands of hours a year in time doing repetitive, boring tasks. The first one is writing a real estate listing. I've already done it here. You'll see that I go into chat GPT and you just do this. You just type in what you want it to do. So if you're new to chat GPT, you just go write a real estate listing for a three bedroom, two bathroom house in North Delta, British Columbia. I got that in there. If you want to put in, you know, the pricing, the other parts of the house that are important, go ahead and do it. Hit enter and you'll see that it just starts writing for you. It takes a few seconds and then bang, it gives you a very basic, but a good description. That said, of course, you can go ahead and make it a little bit better. And here's what I like to do. And this is a trick that not everybody uses, but it's optional. You go ahead and as soon as it's done typing, type in the word elaborate. What happens here is you're basically telling um, chat GPT that you like the work they've done, but you want a longer description or maybe you want a shorter description. This one's actually pretty damn long. So we're going to go ahead and maybe even keep this. But this is something you should keep in the back of your mind. You can type in elaborate and then presto, you just copy paste this. You see here that you can remove this, you can add in the square footage, the lot size, the year built, you just copy paste it in and presto, you know, you're done. There it goes. Here you go, I've got an elaborated version coming, but while it does that, let's move on to the next thing I want to show you. Here's the elaborated version here. Here's one you can do, write a social media post based on this posting. Notice how I said that it's based on this posting. ChatGPT, when you start typing, you'll see over here you've got these chats. Well, what's happening is, is you're creating a conversation with a robot basically, and it remembers what came before it. So when I write in, write a social media post, here's what it says, just listed a stunning three bedroom, two bathroom home in North Delta. Emojis, it's got all the car emojis, the flag emojis, all this weird stuff, bed emojis. And again, you can see here, it's even got the right hashtags to some degree. It basically allows you to create social media content, take a picture, attach this as the, copy paste this in as the, um, as the social media content, bang, you're on your way. You've got your first social media post of the day. That said, we can go a little further. What if you want it to calculate things for you? There's a lot of calculations. If one of your customers or a potential customer asks you what the mortgage payment on a 1.2 million purchase at 7.2% interest rate, amortized over 25 years is don't have to go anywhere just go right into chat gpt type it in like i've done here and watch it even gives you the equation it used to calculate that rate so here it is you go through all of this here's the number da da da, da. it comes out to approximately eight thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars here's the one thing you want to keep in mind this is only an approximation you have to double check your work and you got to go ahead and if you're going to send it out as like final like not just a back of the napkin or back of the page calculation, of course, you want to double check the numbers. Another thing you can do is, you know, writing addendums, contingencies and things like that. Here's an example that I just came up and I wrote in here. I said, write a detailed contingency, contingency that is dependent on the completion of a home inspection. Normally, you would sit there and you either copy paste something or you type it up from scratch. Cancel all of that. Just type it in. Here's what we got. This offer is contingent upon the buyer's satisfactory completion of a home inspection within seven days. You know, pretty basic stuff. It, it numbers the two terms here that they need to follow, including the number of days. Then you just put your date and the time in and maybe even your signature and bang, you're done. I did another example, write a contingency that includes completing the sale of your home. So here it is. This sale is, this offers contingent upon successful sale of the buyer's current property located at their address. Of course, you go ahead and copy and paste that in. In the event that the buyer's blah, 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 Awesome, done for you. Save yourself all that crazy amount of time. Just insert your name and the date and you're on your way. Another couple examples here, I did a financing addendum. So if this transaction is dependent upon somebody securing sufficient financing, you know what? You don't have to go to your lawyer. You don't have to go to your notary. Just add this in, double check it, put in here, extend the time frame, terminate the contract, blah, 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 done. One more thing, I also did the write a real estate listing, three bedroom, two bathroom house. This is the second version. Look at this. It's awesome. When I typed in elaborate, like I showed you at the beginning, it gives you even more things. Of course, it's not going to be 100% accurate. Just copy paste, add in what you think fit. This is how you save yourself hundreds and thousands, maybe even thousands of hours a year in time as a realtor. Thanks for watching.